Hello everybody, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. And I am Latasha Blanton, also with The Real South Africa. And you guys are welcome to sunny South Africa. If this is your first time, this is your opportunity to come with Phil Scott with his channel. And they will be here on March 16th through the 25th, 2022. The cost does include the flight, most meals, and your domestic flight in country from Johannesburg to Cape Town. The cost is $5,500 per person sharing and $6,150 per person one in a single room. Now, at this point, you don't need any extra shots. The only thing you need to do is have a negative COVID test prior to you leaving. And then, of course, upon departure, you will get you another COVID test. And then that's it. So that's really all you need. And, of course, a passport. So no shots, no vaccines, no nothing. Just get to South Africa. We'll see you here. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So I have an update here. So you guys might remember I reported on the story and Brother Phil did as well of Peter Spencer, a 29 year old Jamaican immigrant that was shot while he was on a hunting trip with four other white people, he went um, into Rockland Township in Pennsylvania to go hunting with these four other white people. I think one of them was his coworker. His girlfriend dropped him off and she said she kind of felt weird about him going into the woods to go hunting with white people. She tried to talk him out of it, but he felt like it was okay. So needless to say, as they were hunting, the four white people, well, they don't know which one of them did it, but shot Peter. Now, Peter was shot nine times, okay, nine times. And so they, being his family, hired a private investigator and a medical, a medical examiner because they're like, the police there and the DA, they're dragging their feet on this. Like, we want answers as to what happened to our loved one. And so a renowned medical examiner said the following. There are nine shots fired beyond 29 inches of distance or what we call long distance shots, Dr. Cyril Rich said, who has investigated high profile deaths such as President John F. Kennedy, Elvis Presley, and John Benet Ramsey. He also said, it's like looking at someone who got hunted down, which is absolutely horrifying, okay? So he has the credentials to say he knows what he's talking about. Now, he was only able to look at the photographs from the uh, coroner of what happened to his body, but he wasn't able to look at the body directly because for whatever reason, they are blocking. So actually the photos came from uh, the mortuary, so it wasn't the coroner. So the authorities are blocking. It would not allow him to examine the body, but he said, but from the photos he saw, it appears that he was hunted down. And so the DA, Sean White, will not release the names of the four people that were involved because he said he wants to make sure uh, that the investigation is thorough before he gives out the names. But the four white men were questioned and they were let go because they said, oh, was self-defense, we feared for our lives, right? Now, have we heard that before by every white person ever who is shot and killed somebody black, you know, including that of Ahmaud Arbery's case, his killers who are now doing life in prison. They said the same thing as they ran him over, you know, down with trucks and shot him. We're afraid of our lives. Trayvon Martin, I'm afraid of my life, right? So we've heard that a lot, but hopefully they get down to the bottom of what happened to Peter because we ain't crazy. We know that they hunted him down like a wild dog and because they're white, they knew they were going to get away with it. But we hope that they do not get away with this and they are held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. 
how you handle it, how you deal with it. It can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.